Now, Mali's vice president has confirmed he's ousted the prime minister and president and has stripped them of their power. Colonel Isimi Goita, who led a military coup last year, accuses the leaders of violating transitional agreements. They're being held in a military facility near the capital, Bamako. Goita insists elections will take place next year as planned. Uh, let's speak to our correspondent, Nicholas Hack, who's following these developments from Senegal's capital, Dakar. And Nick, so the, the military have, if you like, snipped off the uppermost branches of the government. So what happens now? Well, that's right. I mean, critics of what's happening say it looks like the man that organized a coup nine months ago, we're talking here about Vice President Asimi Goita, a colonel in the special forces of the Malian army, has organized a second coup nine months later, um, dismissing the civilian uh, government that he had himself put, into, put in place when uh, President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, the former president, was taken off of power. But in a statement made on national te television, signed by himself uh, and made by uh, members of the military, he said that essentially that the prime minister uh, was incompetent. He, he said that uh, Prime Minister One was incapable of being a reliable intermediary in discussions with trade unions. Trade unions have been on strike for several weeks now because of unpaid wages. He goes further saying that there's been public consternation about the inability of this government of transition to move forward. I mean, there's been um, enormous demands from the Malian people for a return to civilian rules and also for elections to happen as soon as possible. Right now, the, president election, the presidential elections are supposed to take place in February 2022, and that's too late for many Malians. He goes on saying that, you know, a new government was uh, put in place without his consultation and saying that therefore that he was in breach of the charter of transition and therefore he dismissed both the prime minister and the uh, and and the president itself he's now back in charge if not he was already in charge and this shows really uh, more than anything else nick that the military are in charge of mali right now now there's been a public outcry in regards to what has happened. There's been attempts to have protests on the streets of Bamako, but security forces are deployed and they've tried to disperse uh, those crowds. Nick? Nicholas Hack there in uh, observing events there from Dhaka. Let's speak to Mohamed Salaha, who's a journalist and publisher of lemalimag.com, which is a, a news website in Mali, and joins us via Skype from the capital of Bamako. Mohamed, so uh, Colonel Goita who led the military coup last year, he insists that elections will take place next year as planned. Do you think they will? Yes, uh, Asimi Keita is the strongman of the former junta who deposed the former elected President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita on August uh, nine months ago. And uh, Asimi, the same Asimi Keita sent today its uh, communication advisor on national TV to broadcast uh, a new statement. And in its, this new statement, it said that uh, the, the vice president of the transition, who is Asimi Goita, have plastered out of their prerogative, the prime minister and the president of the transition, uh, according to, to Asimi Goita, those two authorities have viol violated the charter of the transition contrary to the off taken uh, on uh, on taken a few months ago when they established the charter of uh, the transition. Right, and, Mohammed, uh, so what's what's been the response on the streets? What are, what are people saying? What are people thinking? On the street, the response is over because uh, Malian, Malian people, youth, are uh, showing unhappiness regarding the current situation, the way the militaries are, uh, took the president and the vice president to Kati just after the reshuffle ministerial. Uh, where this uh, unhappiness is formed, it's when the, 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 the defense minister and the security minister, who are also two strong men of the junta, have not been appointed in the government of uh, established by Mokhtar Wan and uh, the president Banda without consulting the vice president of transition, who is in charge of security and, uh, and uh, 
defense. So the unhappiness is from that point. And Malian are showing also unhappiness regarding the way the, the, the junta, the military are doing, regarding the way they arrest those two authorities. Uh, there are call for protests in Bamako to show that the people are not agree about military and they want the military to release the president and the vice president who are still detained in Kati, which, which is a garrison town located in 15 kilometers of Bamako. Okay, Mohammed, appreciate that. Mohammed Salaha, uh, journalist and publisher of limalimag.com.